horsies. I just wanted to tell you, Annie, I, I just hope that somehow it helps. Just about do it. I don't want the place looking too good. The boys will think I'm back for the other team. <laughs> um, thanks, Tony. For what? Everything. And I meant what I said before. I'm not going to throw myself at you anymore. Ah, you see, you say that there, Jazz, but I don't know. Could any woman in their right mind really maintain that kind of self-control around me? <laughs> Look, it's been a long day. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, good idea. Good night, Jess. Are you okay? You've been really quiet. Hey, I, I don't expect you to be dancing on tables or anything. Johnny's been caught. It's the main thing. The whole town can go back to normal. No one has to be scared anymore. this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm tired. I'm not the only one by the looks of it. Yeah. Take that to bed. Hey. Come on. Was it in the morning? Yeah. Oh. 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 No, no, sorry. <laughs> so can I get you something? A hot drink? Uh, no, I'm okay. But you should get yourself something. You've been spending too much time worrying about everyone else. Oh, that's my job. I have to say, though, it is very nice being back in this house. It's got a whole new energy about it now. Yeah, it does. Pippa, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course you can. Do you think that love, real love, is enough for two people to spend their lives together? Oh, gosh, I'd love to be able to say yes. The fact is that we all grow and change over the years. And that first really strong, intense love has a nasty habit of fading away. So the thing to remember, Cassie, is that we fall in love with our heart. But we have to live with our head for a whole lot longer. Okay? Hey. I heard about your diagnosis. I'm sorry. I hope you're okay. And I also hope whatever you have to say to Cassie that she has the good sense not to believe you. Not again. I don't know what I can ever say to you, Rachel. That's the thing. I know that you always have the best of intentions, Hank. And you've come here to make amends. And I think if you could do anything in your power to change what's happened, I think you would. Well, good, then we finally understand each other. Yeah. The trouble is, I know exactly who you are. And I know that your behaviour pattern is never going to change. Listen, if you love her as much as you think you do, then for her sake, walk away.
How would it be? You know, our day-to-day life. Who never got the chance to have a normal relationship? You know, it's never going to be normal. What if you get sick? What if I get sick? Then we've got each other. It's not enough. Now, once upon a time, I... I did think that if you're in love, then that's all you needed. You could take on the world. But I don't anymore. For my sake and for the baby, I just can't rely on that sort of a fairy tale. If I said yes, then every single day I'd be terrified that I'd wake up and you'd be gone. And if that happened, Hank, I don't think I could pick myself up again. Hank... No, don't... Don't say anything. I'm going to leave the bay. I'm going to let you get on with your life. No, I'm not going to stop you from seeing the baby. You're the dad. You've got a right to be a part of its life. I love you, Hank. I love you too. Crush. I'm thinking of asking Roman out to dinner. I don't think about it. Just do it. The guy's hot. But will he say yes? And is she going to choose her career? Is it really that hard for you to support me in what I do? Yes, it is. Or her boyfriend. Just wait for a second, will you? Home and away. Weeknights at 7.